everyone this is chapter 11 electric charges at rest class 7 science the all solution to fill in the blanks there are two types of charges in nature light charges repel each other and unlike charges attracts each other the materials that normally do not get charged on rubbing and allow electric current to flow through them with ease are known as conductors lightning and thunders occur together the scientist who proved that lightning is electrical in nature was Benjamin Franklin. B. True and false. The charge acquired by a glass rod and the silk cloth with which it is rubbed are equal and of the same sign. This is false statement. During charging by conduction, the charged object shares its charge with the uncharged object. This is true. A charged body loses its charge if we touch it with our hand is true statement. Lightning is a natural electrical discharge phenomenon. True. We do not need any special device to protect all buildings from lightning. This is false. Let's do the MCQ. A charged plastic comb, comb B is brought near another similarly charged and suspended plastic comb A. Then comb A would move away from comb B. Like because like charges repel. Uh, question number two a student is provided by uh, with four objects these are the four objects now the two and uh, the object that cannot be easily charged by rubbing is the object label as B two charged objects are brought close to each other the two objects would at either attract or repel each other depending on the charge nature of charge during charging by induction it is only the earth that share its charges with the object to be charged during charging by conduction and by induction the charge on the charging object decreases in the first case but remains unchanged in the second case now during lightning we can have an electric discharge either between two opposite charged cloud or between a charged cloud and the ground now let's do the question answers. A glass rod is rubbed against a silk cloth. Which objects get charged in this process? When a glass rod is rubbed against a silk cloth, then both the objects get charged as charge is always produced in pair. Glass rod becomes positively charged and silk cloth becomes negative charged. Name two objects that can be charged by rubbing that do not get charged by rubbing the two objects that can be charged by rubbing are plastic combs and balloon two objects that do not get charged on rubbing are iron nail and metal wire now state the difference between conductor and insulator this is the tabular form difference if you have to answer you have to you should do it in the tabular form the conductor substances which allow electric charges to pass through them are called conductor example metal wire metal wire insulator substances which do not allow electric charges to pass through them are called insulators example plastics name the device used for protecting tall buildings from lightning strike the device used for protecting tall buildings from lightning strike is lightning conductor now give the meaning of the term earthing earthing is the process of transferring of electrical energy to the earth directly through a low resistance wire to avoid electric shocks you uh, uh, list two precaution that a person can take if he caught outside in the open during a lightning strike two precaution that a person can take if he is caught outside in the open during a lightning strike are avoid sheds and trees one is safer inside a car or bus provided the windows and doors are shut now answer the following questions a charged drinking plastic straw is brought near another suspended plastic straw that is similarly charged uncharged. Explain what we would observe in each case and why. When a charged drinking plastic straw is brought near another suspended plastic straw that is similarly charged, there will be repulsion because like charges repel each other. Uncharged object, there will be attraction because a charged object attracts another uncharged object. So why do we say that charges are always produced in pair? When we rub two chargeable objects, they get charged up when they are simultaneously brought near a tiny near tiny pieces of paper 
the combination does not attract them therefore we say that charges are always produced in pairs because when two objects are rubbed against each other they both get charged up with equal and opposite amounts of charges so uh, describe a simple experiment to show that the cha uh, total charge on a pair of object that have been rubbed together is zero simple experiment take two chargeable objects and rub them they get charged up bring them simultaneously near tiny pieces of paper the combination does not attract them the combination therefore behaves like an uncharged object thus we can say that total charge on a pair of object that have been rubbed together is zero now question number 4 why does a charged object lose its charge when touched a charged object loses its charge when touched because when we touch a charged object the extra charges present on the object get shared with us through our body as our body is good conductor human body is a conductor of electricity so when we touch a charged object our body conducts its charge to the earth that is why a charged body loses its charge if we touch it with our hand this phenomenon is known as earthing can we say that a charged object attracts an uncharged object by first charging it through induction explain your answer induction charging is a charging method that charges an object without touching the object to any other charged object the charging by induction process is where the charged particle is held near an uncharged conductive materials that is grounded on a naturally charged material when we bring a charged object near an uncharged object the two kinds of charges in the uncharged object get separated on and out and opposite kind of charges tend to move towards the charged object hence uncharged object gets attracted state the sign of charge acquired by an object when it is charged by a positively charged rod through conduction induction give the reason for your statement a charge acquired by an object when it is charged by a positively charged rod through conduction is the object will be positively charged as the charge on the char original object gets shared between the two objects in induction the object will be negatively charged as in induction there is separation of charges the positive charges get shared with earth and negative charges remain positive uh, remain the positively charged object here positively charged remain on on the positively charged object and this way natural object gets neutral object neutral object gets negatively charged now it is important to have a very good contact between the lower end of a lightning conductor and the earth if so why yes it is necessary to have a very good contact between the lower end of a lightning conductor and earth if the connection is broken the current will find a path to it to discharge itself which will be through the body of the structure and damage it or will pass through the neighboring areas so there will be a flow of current around it so it will be very dangerous therefore to protect the structure proper earthing is very important this question is not given in the book value based question tabis was drinking back home from his office when it started raining heavily the rain poured along with a thundering sound and lightning on the way he saw an old man walking along the street tabis stopped the car and requested him to immediately get inside the car later on he dropped the old man at his place state two values displayed by tavish did tavish do the right thing by asking the old man to get inside his car give reason for your answer the two values displayed by displayed by tavish are empathy kindness helpfulness answer to yes tavish did the right thing by asking old man to get inside the car as the car is safer place because the metal in the car will shield from any electrical fields and thus prevent the lightning from traveling within the car it's acts a franklin cage just try to find out what it was thank you that's all hope it will help you thank you